Hi, Miss Miranda. I'm Lucy. I noticed that your son Alex was absent from school today. Is everything okay? Hi, yes, I'm sorry. Alex won't be able to come to school for a while. Is there anything specific that's keeping Alex from coming to school? Oh, nothing much. Alex said he wanted to go back to his hometown to visit his grandparents, so I took him there for a few days. I was so busy at work that I forgot to tell you. I'm really sorry. I see. That sounds like a nice trip. When do you expect Alex to be back at school? We're planning to stay for a few more days, but I'll make sure he catches up on any work when we return. He hasn't seen his grandparents in a long time, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity for him to spend time with them. I understand, but it's important for Alex to attend school regularly so that he doesn't fall behind on his studies. We have some exams coming up soon, and I, I want to make sure that he's prepared for them. Don't worry. Alex is a smart boy. He'll catch up on any missed work and do fine on the exams. I hope so, but I have to be honest with you. I'm concerned about Alex's academic performance and behavior at school recently. He's been struggling with his coursework lately and I've noticed some strange behavior from him during class. Really? I wasn't aware of that. What kind of behavior? Well, he seems disengaged from the class and doesn't participate much in group activities. I've also noticed that he's easily distracted and fidgety during lessons. It's possible that there may be something else going on with him that's affecting his behavior. Hmm. I haven't noticed anything unusual at home. Maybe he's just going through a phase. It's possible, but it's hard to say without knowing more about what's going on with him. But I think it would be a good idea to have him see a counselor or therapist to better understand what he's going through. I understand your concern, but I don't think that's necessary. Alex is just going through some growing pains. That's all. I understand your point, but as his teacher, it's my responsibility to ensure he gets the support he needs to succeed academically and emotionally. I would hate to see him fall behind or struggle with underlying issues. I appreciate your concern, Lucy. I'll keep an eye on him and let you know if there are any changes. Thank you, Miss Miranda. Please keep me updated on his progress and let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Hi, Miss Miranda. This is Lucy. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to follow up with you about Alex's behavior in school today. Hi, Lucy. Thanks for checking in. I'm sorry to hear that. What's going on? He seemed very disoriented and anxious and didn't participate in class activities. He's always sitting in the corner of the classroom looking for ways to shield his body. When I asked him about his trip to his hometown, he said he didn't go anywhere and was alone in the house. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with the boy. We did go on a trip to visit his grandparents, but maybe he's just forgotten. Apparently, he even took a picture with his grandparents and wanted me to print it out. I put some pictures in his school bag. You can open it to find them. I see them, but are you sure these are recent pictures of Alex? Because he looks smaller in these pictures. <laughs> Oh, of course. I'm sure about it. Maybe because Alex has put on weight in the few days he's been with his grandparents. So you see it that way. Yes, but I noticed some bruises on his arms that looked like they were from someone grabbing him tightly, which had me concerned. I just wanted to ask if everything is all right at home. Oh, those bruises. Uh, yeah, he fell down while playing with his friends. It's nothing to worry about. I can't say for sure, but the bruises looked suspicious. And how Alex acted today made me think that something might be going on at home. Miss Miranda, I have to be honest with you. I'm concerned that Alex may have been abused. The bruises on his arms are a red flag for me. And his behavior at school has been really concerning lately. What are you talking about? That's ridiculous. He's my lovely son. I've never had any reason to abuse him. I understand that, but the bruises are still concerning. I would really like to speak with Alex and get a better understanding of what's going on. You know that there's a counseling room for psychology, right? Please take some time to come here and participate in a counseling session with me and Alex. As his guardian, your presence would be required. No, I am not allowing you to do that. 
You can't put my son in there and turn him into a psycho. He's just going through puberty changes. Don't overreact. Puberty at seven years old? I don't think that's a valid reason. Miss Miranda, I understand you may feel uncomfortable with the idea of counseling, but I believe it's important for Alex's well-being that we explore these concerns. <sighs> I still don't understand why you're making such a big deal out of this. He fell down. That's all. I appreciate that you're trying to explain the bruises, but as a teacher, it's my responsibility to look out for the welfare of my students. And right now, I'm worried that something might be going on with Alex that's causing him to act this way. You should stop talking nonsense about my son. You are not allowed to touch or talk to my son anymore. I will find a psychiatrist myself, so he'll be treated on my terms. We are dealing with some personal matters that we would rather keep private. I'm going to school to pick him up right now. I, I understand your concerns about privacy, but as Alex's teacher, it's important for me to ensure that he's getting the support he needs to succeed academically and emotionally. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Hello, Miss Miranda. I was just wondering if everything is all right. Alex hasn't been in school for three days and I'm a little concerned. There's nothing to be concerned about. Alex didn't want to go to school, so I let him stay home. I see. However, with only three days left until the exam day, it's not a good idea for Alex to take too many breaks. <laughs> he won't be eligible for the class if he continues to miss school. I understand your concern. I took Alex to a psychiatrist, and she recommended that he rest for a while. So, I followed her suggestion. If that's the case, I can help Alex apply for a leave of absence from school so he won't fall behind. How is Alex's condition? He's much better now. The test results show that he has a developmental anxiety disorder and a tendency to self-harm. The bruises were caused by him. Lately, he's been experiencing a lot of anxiety, and it's been difficult for him to attend school. I'm sorry to hear that. Anxiety can be really tough to deal with. I would like to visit Alex to see how he's doing and offer any assistance I can. Could you arrange that? I appreciate your concern, but it's not necessary. We're taking care of everything at home, and Alex is receiving the support he needs. I understand. Can I at least drop Alex some study materials, assignments, and study guides? I just want to make sure he's doing okay. We're working with a tutor to make sure he doesn't fall behind, so I think he'll be fine. Thank you for your concern, but I'd prefer it if you didn't visit him now. We just want some privacy to deal with the situation. Of course, Miss Miranda. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do to support Alex. Why are there police officers at my door saying that Alex's teacher reported that I abused him? What nonsense did you say to the police? And where is my son? Where did you take him? I reported a serious child abuse case that occurred to my student, Alex. I am just trying to protect him. What are you talking about? If you don't have proof, why are you accusing me? Are you trying to kidnap my son? I would never do anything cruel to Alex as you and your boyfriend did. Alex is in the hospital with me. The police have just finished taking his statement. What statement? What the hell are you talking about? After class today, I had to pass by your house. I noticed that your house was locked from the outside. Even though you said you were at home with Alex, there were crumpled pieces of paper all over your yard with S-O-S -S written in Alex's handwriting. And? I called out to Alex and tried calling you, but you didn't pick up. So I went inside to check. Alex was lying motionless on the floor, covered in whip marks and bruises. He was unconscious. This is outrageous. How dare you enter my property without my permission? You have no right to do that. Go ahead. I'm not afraid of you. I had to take action because I saw something that raised serious alarm bells. Alex was lying unconscious on the floor with whip marks and bruises all over his body. It was a horrific sight and I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. You just make things worse. He was probably just sleeping. Just fell asleep? I broke the window to get in. 
and the noise was so loud that Alex didn't even move. That boy was unconscious, and the bruises were too severe to be self-inflicted. I called the police and took Alex to the hospital. But I already told you he is mentally ill and tends to harm himself. He's hit himself before, and I wouldn't be surprised if he did it again. Alex's emotions are very unstable. He's in a constant state of fear and panic. He shows very similar behavior to children suffering from abuse, especially when he sees a man wearing a belt. Moreover, Alex has very serious back injuries. So how could a seven-year-old kid hit himself in the back with such great force? You're wrong. He has a developmental anxiety disorder and the bruises were caused by himself. The psychologist at the hospital checked Alex and they said his emotions were very similar to those of an abused child. It's clear that he was physically abused and you're responsible for it. This is ridiculous. You have no right to accuse me of abuse. I would never hurt my son. I'm not accusing you of anything, but the evidence speaks for itself. Alex's injuries are consistent with physical abuse and as his teacher, it's my duty to report any suspicion of child abuse to the authorities. Moreover, Alex told us everything. Sam, what you did to your son is despicable. You starved him for three days and then left him alone to go on a trip with your boyfriend. And to make matters worse, you are the one who let your boyfriend hit him. He said he begged for your help, but you did nothing but sat on the sofa and watched that man hit Alex with a smile on your face. How could you do that to your own flesh and blood? I don't have to explain anything to you. Alex is my son, and I can do whatever I want with him. No, you cannot. Child abuse is a serious crime, and you will face the consequences of your actions. I have already reported the abuse, and they will take all the necessary measures to ensure Alex's safety. You can't prove anything. It's your word against mine. That freaking kid just imagined it all. Oh, I have proof. The hospital documented Alex's injuries, which will be useful as evidence in court. And let me remind you, there were crumpled pieces of paper with SOS written on them all over your yard. Your son was clearly trying to ask for help and you ignored his cries. I don't care about your accusations. You will regret getting involved in my business. I will not regret doing what's right for my student. Alex deserves to live in a safe and healthy environment, not in a home where he is starved and abused, and I will make sure justice is served for him. You don't know anything about me or my family. Mind your own business and stay out of our lives. I will not turn a blind eye to child abuse. It's my responsibility as a teacher and as a human being to protect children from harm. I will continue to report any suspicious behavior or signs of abuse, no matter who it involves. Listen, I understand that you care about Alex, but I also know that kids can make things up. Alex could have just fallen and injured himself. You don't wanna ruin my life and my family's life over something that might not be true, do you? I'm willing to pay you a large sum to testify that Alex lied about the abuse. I won't do it. Alex didn't lie, and I won't perjure myself in court just because you want to cover up your crimes. I can't turn a blind eye to what Alex is going through. Money won't change my mind, but think about it. You could have all the money you need. No more struggling to make ends meet. Just say that Alex made it all up and we can put this whole thing behind us. I can't do that, Miranda. Money won't make me betray a child who needs help. I won't let you get away with abusing your own son. And you should be ashamed of yourself for even suggesting such a thing. I'm not afraid of you, Miranda. I'll do whatever it takes to protect Alex. I can't understand. Why are you so determined to protect that brat? Because I can relate to his situation. When I was a child, I was also a victim of abuse, but nobody helped me at that time. I know firsthand how it feels to be helpless and vulnerable, and I don't want anyone else to go through what I went through. You know you'll never be able to stop all the abuse. Let's just skip it this time and take the money. I know it, but it's time to break the cycle of abuse and neglect. I will do everything in my power to make sure Alex gets the love and care he deserves. You should stop talking nonsense. One day you'll have to pay the price for meddling in other people's family affairs, bitch. Hey, answer me. I will kill you.
damn it! One day later, Sam and her boyfriend were arrested for child abuse. The police found evidence in their house, confirming the teacher's suspicions. Miranda and her boyfriend were charged and sentenced to jail for their heinous crimes. Meanwhile, Alex is recovering very well under the care of me and other friends and teachers in school. With love and care, he regained his strength and confidence. I have become his legal guardian, and he's thriving under my care. Alex's story inspired me to advocate for child protection and fight against child abuse. I started a campaign to raise awareness about child abuse and to promote the importance of reporting any suspicion of abuse. In the end, justice was served, and Alex found a new home where he's loved and cared for. Alex now has a chance to live a happy and fulfilling life, and I'm very happy for him.